Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to test the 3-tube 3500Z amplifier by Mountaintop Electronics. Pretty small package. Um, same size as my single Z box. Um, but the nice thing about it, it's in two pieces. <clears throat> and that's the reason why I was able to get it in a smaller deck. Um, there's the power supply. It's got its own high voltage meter. Circuit breaker right on the front, <clears throat> and we'll explain all that. Um, it's got a fan for cooling, and it has just a couple simple connections. Your power cord goes right to an outlet, 240 volt, of course. You have a big Jones connector. It's polarized. You can't mess up putting it in. And you got a high voltage melon. On the back of the deck itself, you just have a few. Let's see if I can get to it here. You just have a few connections. You just have a RF in and out your milling connector, and then that cord is attached. Um, that ground is not electrically necessary for the deck. The deck is grounded through, it has its own ground in that cable. That's for an RF ground if you determine you need it at your shop. You have high voltage meter for plate voltage. You have your current meter, plate current. Um, you have a variable tuned input which on a bigger box like this, it's nice to have. I don't know what kind of driver you're gonna use. Um, tune and load. I'm gonna give you guys a peek at the inside and let me just cover off here. You got a vacuum tuner on the tune side. You got a nice big heavy duty load capacitor. You got chimneys. This deck has an internal blower. Um, so it pressurizes the bottom, cools the pins, blows up through the tubes. Keeps the seals cold. You got high efficiency plate caps. This is a very nicely made amplifier. This was, <clears throat> to be very frank, I if this sells, it sells. If not, it's just going to go on my base, you know. But this is a uh, big key down time box. You could you could talk on this thing forever. Um, everything's heavy duty. All the capacitors are heavier than they should be. Everything is got lots of cooling. There's fans in the power supply. There's internal blower, which is nice. You don't have a big old blower hanging off the back of the box. It just sucks in from the side over there, pressurizes the deck, blows up through the tubes, keeps everything cool. And this box, I mean, it makes a lot of filament heat, but honestly, for the amount of watts you can do, it runs very cool. Um, and that's it. You know, as far as drive is concerned, we'll go over that in a minute, but, you know, I just wanted to make a quick point about 3500Z amplifiers. If they're all built well, they're all kind of the same. They all give you between 10 and 12 times multiplication. So if you put 100 in, you usually get 1,000 out. If you put 200 in, you get 2,000 plus out, and it's just kind of the way they are. They're all kind of the same if they're built well. Um, especially when you're built, you know, cathode driving them like a regular linear, like everybody's been doing for 100 years. So, you know, my recommendation would I say it all the time, these amplifiers, these tubes are good for about a thousand watts a piece. So if you run this amplifier at two to three thousand watts, it'll run that way forever. And you're not going to blow things up and you're not going to burn the tubes down and you're not going to desolder the pins and all the other nonsense that comes with abuse. Um, you know, if you put more in, you're going to get more out. If you put 500 in, you'll get 5,000 out. And it's just, that's the way it works. So let me put this cover back on for safety, because I don't like running it with the cover off. And uh, I'll put the video back on, and we'll get to it. All right, we're back. I uh, put the cover on the box. Just, you know, for safety, I don't like running these things with the covers off. But that being said, uh, this down here, the circuit breaker on the box, is not an on and off switch. I mean, yes, if you, if you whack it, you'll shut the whole box off. But it's just a circuit breaker. It's meant for circuit protection. Um, all the functions of the amplifier are controlled by these two switches. So the first switch is the blower filament and starts the cycle for the step start. And you'll see that on the voltage meter. Um, and then once your high voltage is up, you can key the thing, put it into AM, sideband, whatever. Um, and then when you shut the box off, just shut that off. You don't have to keep bending down and turning that breaker off. Now, the beauty of having the separate deck, of course, is, you know, it's smaller and lighter, so you can transport it and put it on your desk or whatever you're going to do. Um, but you can also tuck that under the desk or put it somewhere else. You got about five or six feet of cord on it. Um, and again, there's only two connections on it. 
plus the RF connection. So it's actually a pretty simple thing to hook up. You don't have to, you don't have to do much. It's a pretty simple amplifier. Um, so I'm going to uh, show you drive right now. Um, I got my radio on. I got my amplifier on. Um, I don't have, you know, six, seven hundred watts of drive like some people like to put into these things. Um, I, I top out right around four hundred watts, <clears throat> so we're probably going to see anywhere between three and four thousand, um, which would be between a thousand and thirteen hundred per tube. So you're you're in the realm of sanity. Um, I would prefer to run it at less than four thousand watts. To me, this is a three thousand watt box. But you know, anything you get beyond that, that you drive into it, that's free watts. That's that's your thing. So we've got a thousand watt slug. I'm gonna probably give it a 50 watt carrier. So the big box will probably give it a 500 watt carrier and, um, or whatever you want, it's up to you. And we should see about 400 watts of drive. So we're looking at the middle scale, that's 50. Audio, one, 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 audio. So we're just cresting 400 watts, um, PEP, going into it. So give me a second, let me uh, change slugs here, and uh, I'm not even going to turn the camera off, just give me a second. Let me just <clears throat> change the slug here, and we should be good to go. We're going to put the 5,000 watt slug in, go the right way, of course. Um, and just so you guys know, we test into a bird dummy load. Um, so it's, it's not an antenna, it just, I don't, I don't use an antenna. Um, so everything's hooked up, everything's plugged in. Let's uh, turn the supply on. Supply has got power going to it, but it's not on. And now we're going to turn the power switch on. And there you go. So now your high voltage is on, your filament's on. Put the box into AM. Okay, the box has already been tuned and loaded. You can see everything is lit up. Forward, sucking air, the outside. Okay, so we've got a 5,000 watt slug. How about 800 watt carrier? Oh, audio. One, 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 one. So you're seeing about 4,000 out. Um, is the carrier, let me just see that noise. Yeah, we can lower the carrier a little bit. Lower that just a little bit. Yes, yeah, so that's like a 600 watt carrier. Oh, audio. One, 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 one. So this box will just Cadillac crew all day at 4,000 watts. You know, this is the way I like to run my boxes. I mean, you could always put the mall on it. Let me, let me turn the carrier up. You can key it at 1,000 if you wanted. Audio. Audio. And you're still swinging forward on the plate current meter. Audio. Audio. So you're not, you're not hurting anything. And to be honest with you, a... Uh, a thousand watt carrier is really not bad out of this box. It's 300 watts per tube. I mean, that's fine. Like, it's not a big deal. I just lowered the carrier. Audio one, 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 one. You know, if you were a guy that was into like hi fi audio, for instance, and you're one of those guys that needs a lot of headroom, you know, run this thing keying 500 watts, 700 watts, you know, and just let it talk easy. Audio, let it talk easy all day long. You've got all the key down time you want. You know, you've got so much cooling in this box. you got these high efficiency plate caps. It's still on the key. Audio. One, 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 one. You know, it's just, it's not going to give you a problem. Like, you could just run these tubes. Now, I just unkeyed. Let me put this thing on average because for some reason people like to see that. So we're on the uh, 5,000 watts of the middle scale average. Audio, 12, 1300, something like that. And again, you know, however you run it, it's your business. You can, you can maul this thing, you can swing this thing. One, 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 audio, audio. Now I'm gonna lower my drive a little bit. 
because I'll be honest with you, even at 4,000, you can put this thing on low power. Audio, one, 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 one. So I'm putting like 200 watts of drive into it. I mean, it's not even tick more in the box, but I mean, Jesus, you could run this thing nice and light. I mean, audio. And you can have all the key down time you want. But you got chimneys, you got a big blower, all internal, nice and smooth sides, nothing hanging off the back, you know. Put some more drive on it again. Let's get some carrier on it. That's a thousand watt carrier. Audio. And I'm not even hitting this thing as hard as it could be hit. I, I've got my drive is limited to 400 watts. And I don't feel like building another box just to test this thing. So, tubes aren't even all the way hot yet. One, 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 one. Audio. 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 One, 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 one. One, 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 Try doing this all day with a 16 pill. Audio. We ain't even at the top plate yet. One, 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 test, 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 test. Audio. She's still putting out. She ain't even all the way hot. But you got a brand new set of uh, matched Penta tubes in there. Love that company. Love their product. You got a vacuum variable. You got a tunable input. Separate supply. And it's not even that loud. Um, everything's air cooled. I mean, you, this is your key down time box. You got no key down time. See, I say that, then somebody's going to key this thing up for 30 minutes or something and burn the tubes out of it. Audio one 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 audio mountaintop electronic with the Z's. Thanks for watching.